thank you for your interest in Clean Cut's line of bath accessibility products. This instructional video, in conjunction with product-specific written install manuals, will provide detailed instructions for the installation process for the Clean Cut product line. Please feel free to contact Clean Cut if you have any questions regarding products or installation procedures. This video will focus on the installation of the Clean Cut convertible and differences in the install process for the Clean Cut Step, Ultra Low, and Door will be noted throughout. Clean Cut offers several innovative products that allow an existing bathtub to be retrofit to provide a safer and more accessible bathing experience. Clean Cut's products include the Step, the Ultra Low, the Door, and the Convertible. Products can be installed in fiberglass, acrylic, steel, and cast iron bathtubs. Let's begin with the Step and the Ultra Low. Both products retrofit the existing bathtub from a full tub to a more accessible step-in shower. While the Step is ideal for most tubs, the Ultra Low is designed to provide similar accessibility to tubs with high sidewalls. Each product provides a 24-inch opening, has a skid-resistant surface, and is available in both white and beige colors. Product kits include either a step or ultra-low product, a two-part support box structure, two tubes of adhesive with application nozzle, a cutting template, and customer documentation including warranty and care and use information. The step product is available in different sizes. The process to determine sizing is demonstrated in the following chapter. CleanCut also offers the door and the convertible. Both products allow the user the same ability to retrofit an existing bathtub to a step-in shower, but with the added benefit of being able to continue to use as a full bath as well. The door features a latching watertight door and an approximate 16-inch opening, has a skid-resistant surface, a left or right hinge configuration, and is available in white. The convertible does not have a hinged swinging door but it features an innovative, removable center insert, allowing easy configuration back to a full bath. Each kit includes one door or convertible unit, a two-part support box structure, two tubes of adhesive with application nozzle, a waterproof wrap membrane, a cutting template, and customer documentation, including warranty and care and use information. The next chapter provides an overview of determining the correct sizing for the clean cut line of products. The following is a demonstration to determine sizing for the Clean Cut Step, Ultra Low, Door, or Convertible Kit. Let's begin with a step product. To order the correct size, you will need to take several measurements from the bathtub, including the top and bottom rail measurements. First, identify the location on the tub where the product will be installed. Keep in mind that it may not be possible to place the clean cut step directly in the center of the tub due to obstructions in the tub area, such as the placement of sinks, vanities, or commodes. It is recommended to consider offsetting the product to accommodate other safety features, such as grab bars or bath seats. However, you will want to avoid installing the product in the corners of the tub, where the radius is located and width of the tub increases. For ease of demonstration purposes, measurements will be taken assuming an installation in the center of the tub. Begin by determining the maximum top rail measurement. Measure the length of the tub and determine the midpoint of the tub. Since the step product is 28 inches long, mark the center of the tub, as well as 14 inches left and right of center. Measure the width of the top rail at the three points. Next, determine the bottom rail measurements. Measure approximately 9.75 inches down from each of the three points on the top rail and measure in the width. To take this measurement, it is helpful to assemble a simple measurement device. Take two rulers and connect at 9.75 inches, as shown on one of the rulers, and connect using a binder clip or other type of fastener. Use the measurement tool and note the three bottom measurement points. These measurements are your bottom rail measurements. This chart represents the maximum top and bottom rail measurements for each of the three sizes of clean cut step. Your maximum top and bottom rail measurements cannot exceed the measurements in the chart. As a reminder, the product is available in both white and beige. For the ultra low product, the process is very similar to sizing instructions for the step. However, since the ultra low is considerably deeper than the step, the bottom rail measurements will be taken 14.75 inches from the top rail. 
Given the depth, it is recommended to use a yardstick and a ruler when assembling your measurement device. The Ultra Low is available in white or beige and in one size that fits most tubs, and the top and bottom rail measurements may not exceed the following. For the convertible, the bottom rail measurements should be taken 10 and a half inches from the top rail. The convertible is available in white and in one size that fits most tubs. The top and bottom rail measurements may not exceed the following. For the door, the product is approximately 24 inches long, so your two marks will each be 12 inches left and right of center. The bottom rail measurement should be taken 10.5 inches from the top rail. The door is available in white, three sizes, and in a left or right hinge configuration. The following is a list of the items you may need to complete the installation of a clean cut accessibility product. For convenience, this list is also included with the accompanying installation manual. To complete the installation of a clean cut product, it will be necessary to use the following tools. A heavy duty side grinder with four and a half inch blade and reciprocating saw are both used when cutting a steel or fiberglass tub. For cast iron tubs, only the side grinder is recommended. The jigsaw is used when trimming the clean cut product onto the bathtub. Before beginning any work, it is imperative to inspect the tub for existing chips, cracks, markings, or other types of damage. If completing work on behalf of others, it is always wise to make the resident or property manager aware of any existing damage prior to beginning the installation process. Existing damage may be made worse during the tub cutting process. As you begin the installation, Remove any personal items from the bathroom area to create extra space during the installation and to prevent possible damage or exposure to dust and debris that may result during the installation process. One method to minimize the areas where dust can settle is to use a two-ply drop cloth with the paper side up to catch and trap dust and other shavings. In particular, a drop cloth should be taped into the bottom of the tub. This will help collect debris as well as help prevent accidentally scratching the bottom surface of the tub. The drain of the tub should be completely closed and covered to prevent any shavings from going down into the drain. Due to the significant amount of dust created when cutting a cast iron tub, it is recommended that you cover all walls and surfaces before you begin cutting the tub. It may also be advisable to install a small vacuum attachment directly on your grinder to minimize dust output. Clean Cut is pleased to offer these attachments for purchase. Once the tub area is prepared for installation, use the template that was included in the installation kit. Place the template flush against the tub in the same area you use to determine product sizing and begin tracing. Use a red Sharpie marker so as to make the lines that are traced easily visible. Flip the template over and now trace the outside of the tub. The proper template lines that indicate where to cut the tub have now been made. Please note that the templates for the step, ultra low, door, and convertible are all different and not interchangeable. The tub has been marked and is ready to cut. Safety is of highest importance, and it is critical to remember to use the proper safety equipment when cutting the tub. Protective eye and earwear, as well as a filter mask, are strongly recommended. Clean cut products can be installed in acrylic, fiberglass, steel, or cast iron tubs. For this demonstration, we'll be cutting and installing a clean cut convertible on a steel tub, but we'll identify similarities and differences when installing on acrylic, fiberglass, or cast iron. On acrylic, fiberglass, or steel tubs, use a side grinder with the diamond blade such as this one 
to make necessary entry points for the reciprocating saw blade. For cast iron tubs, the side grinder with the diamond blade is the only cutting tool used. The process for cutting cast iron is slightly different. Due to the significant amount of dust created when cutting a cast iron tub, it is recommended that you cover all tub and exposed bathroom walls and surfaces with a two-ply drop cloth to minimize the amount of dust that can settle. Vacuum the dust and shavings as you cut the tub. As mentioned earlier, it is recommended to have a vacuum attachment on your grinder to minimize dust output. Be cognizant of potential safety issues when cutting the tub, such as sparks generated during cutting, as well as items that may be located within the tub wall, such as water lines, insulation, or other items. For demonstration purposes, a steel tub will be cut. The first entry cuts will be made with a side grinder. The remainder of the tub is cut using the reciprocating saw. Remember, when cutting cast iron, you will continue to cut using the side grinder. We are now ready to use the reciprocating saw. Cut out the bottom and downward markings on each side of the tub. Once the four downward cuts have been completed, finish by cutting the two adjoining top pieces. The opening for the clean cut product is now complete and you can remove the cutout section. Use caution when removing the cutout section as there may be sharp or jagged edges both on the cutout segment and along the edges of where the cuts were made on the sides of the tub. It is helpful to spend a moment to file down any potential areas that are jagged or uneven. This prevents potential snags with fitting the clean cut product and reduces the risk of potential injury. After the cutout section of the tub has been removed, take a few moments to clean the area in and around the tub. Remove the drop cloth. Using a dustpan and broom, sweep all dust and shavings. Complete the cleanup by thoroughly vacuuming the entire area. Once you have completed cutting out a section of the tub, you can begin to fit the clean cut product into the tub opening. As noted previously, determining the correct size product is essential. Please consult the sizing chapter or the sizing chart included with the written instruction manual. Using a stack of heavy card stock paper, trace the cutout section of the tub onto the clean cut product. Place the card paper onto the left end and trace the outline of the pattern onto the paper. Once completed, mark this tracing as left, so as to remember which side was traced. It is also helpful to place an arrow on the template to indicate which direction is the inside of the tub. Repeat the process for the right side of the tub. Mark this tracing right. Cut out the paper templates with scissors, making sure to keep to the inside of the tracings. It is time to transfer the shape of our cut tub onto the clean cut product. However, before continuing, it is recommended that a protective material be placed on the floor to prevent any dust or other debris from transferring onto the product. Remember, the side with the logo is placed on the outside of the tub. The following is an important step that varies based on the clean cut product you are installing. Place the right end of the clean cut product on the ground in order to trace the left side of the product. For the clean cut step, clean cut door, or the clean cut convertible, place the top of the paper template a half inch from the top of the product. For the clean cut ultra low, place the top of the paper template one inch from the top of the product. Trace the outline of the paper onto the product. Continue the lines with a straight edge down and around the corners. Repeat the same procedure for the right end of the product. Remember to place the paper template the same distance down from the top of the product as what was completed on the left side before beginning to trace. Continue the lines with a straight edge down and around the corners. Next, connect the bottom edges of the clean cut product and connect each side of the outside tub line using a yardstick. Use a tape measure and transfer the shape of the inside tub edge to the clean cut product. The inside of the tub may be irregular in shape, 
So measurements for the inside line must be made every three inches from one end of the clean cut product to the other. Once completed, use your yardstick and marker to connect the markings for the inside line. As an alternate method, you can use cardstock paper as was done on the sides to create a bottom template. Cut the clean cut product to fit the cutout tub opening using a jigsaw. It is important that a two inch blade is used to cut out the product so as to prevent accidentally cutting through the top of the product. Snap off any excess length on the stock jigsaw blade beyond two inches. The clean cut product is now ready to be cut. It is recommended that proper eye protection be worn while using the jigsaw. Place the product on the protective material and cut the bottom of the product using the jigsaw. Make your cut directly on the center of the traced lines. Upon reaching the corners while cutting, tilt the jigsaw outward to prevent cutting past your lines on the vertical ends of product. Remember to tilt your blade on each corner. On the ends, simply continue the cutting process with the jigsaw. When cutting around corners, swivel and continue cutting. After completing the primary cuts, go back and cut down the entry points. Use a deburring tool to rid the product of any remaining edges. Place the clean cut product into position. Remember the side with a colored logo is placed on the outside of the tub. Use a small pocket mirror and look for areas on the product that may be catching and prohibiting the product from free falling onto the tub. Continue the process and repeat as necessary until a desirable close fit is achieved. The product should free fall onto the tub without catching or binding. Having completed use of the jigsaw and routing tool, take a moment to tidy the tub and work area. Once the clean cut product has been cut and a satisfactory fit into the tub opening has been achieved, it will be necessary to assemble the support box structure to provide support to the product. If you are installing a clean cut door or convertible, as shown in this demonstration, a waterproof membrane will also be applied to the open cutout channel once the support box has been properly positioned. Both of these processes will be fully demonstrated during this chapter. It is important to understand that each tub has variations and modifications may be necessary in the field depending on the flooring, height of the tub, and other factors. For example, for wooden subfloors, begin by screwing or gluing a treated 2x4 directly to the subfloor to serve as the base for our support structure. For concrete floors, a treated 2x4 is adhered directly to the concrete floor with adhesive. The 2x4 might need to be cut into several sections if there is a support brace in the cutout channel. Build the support box structure to appropriate height. If working with a concrete subfloor, thoroughly inspect and clean the floor in the tub cutout channel prior to securing the treated 2x4. Remove any materials from the concrete that may cause an uneven surface. Apply adhesive directly to the concrete floor. Insert the 2x4s and thoroughly spread the adhesive on the concrete. Prior to inserting the small support box, it is first necessary to secure a 22 and a half inch long 2x4 into the channel of the small support box. Place a bead of adhesive around the inside of the support box and insert the 2x4. Place several screws into the small support box to properly adhere the 2x4 into proper position. Insert the small box into the channel. At this point, do not adhere the small support box to anything. Place the large support box into the channel and over the top of the small box. Place the clean cut product into position and compress the clean cut product downward to determine the proper height and placement for the support box structure. Once the support of the clean cut product has been achieved, remove the step and mark both the left and right ends of the small box where the large box is compressed while the boxes are in the tub opening channel. Once properly marked, remove both support boxes and label the markings left and right to avoid potential confusion. Uncompress the two support boxes from one another and begin the process to permanently adhere the boxes in proper position. Apply adhesive around the perimeter of the large box. 
Compress the small and large support box structures back together to the appropriate markings made earlier on the small box. Place the support structure back into the channel and insert the clean cut product to verify that proper placement has been achieved. Secure both sides of the support structure by placing two screws in each side. Apply adhesive to the tops of the 2x4s that are already in place in the channel if they are needed for height adjustment and insert the support box structure. Place the clean cut product into position once more to inspect the fit in position. This is the final opportunity to make any adjustments if necessary. For fiberglass and other types of tubs, it may be necessary to adjust the installation of the support boxes based on the framing or support material present on the inside channel of the tub. If installing the clean cut door or convertible, it is necessary to install the waterproof wrap membrane after completing the support structure assembly. This step does not apply if you're installing the clean cut step or ultra low. First, unfold the membrane that was included in the installation kit. It will be necessary to cover the entire area of the tub cutout, including the two sidewalls. Remove the paper backing and stretch the membrane material to cover the area over the support boxes and the sidewalls and adhere approximately a quarter inch onto each side of the tub. It will be necessary to trim excess membrane material. Place the clean cut product into position once more to inspect the fit in position. Also inspect and make sure that the waterproof wrap is completely covered by the product. This is the final opportunity to make any adjustments. Remove the center insert of the clean cut convertible to verify the desired product fit. Once the fit has been verified, reapply and completely secure the center insert back into the convertible. Wipe all surfaces included in the gasket prior to reapplying the center insert. Prior to placing the product into the channel, it is necessary to gently pass a low flame several times along each side of the perimeter of the clean cut product. This will help promote bonding between the product and the bathtub once adhesive is applied. Use caution when using the torch and do not hold heat on one area of the product as it may discolor or melt. Thoroughly wipe the tub area with isopropyl alcohol where the adhesive will bond and allow enough time to flash off before applying the adhesive. Do not apply the isopropyl alcohol directly on the adhesive as it will prevent the adhesive from drying or curing. Do not use to clean or smooth your final bead as well. If installing the clean cut convertible or door, apply adhesive to the top of the waterproof membrane. Place a substantial bead of adhesive on the top of the tub where the clean cut convertible will be seated. Adhesive on the top of the tub is important as it acts as a sealer and also reinforces the upright legs of the clean cut convertible. If installing the clean cut step or clean cut ultra low and the installation of waterproof membrane was not completed, apply adhesive to the top of the large support box. It is recommended that an extra bead of adhesive be placed on the ends of the large support box as the step curves up toward the ends. Place a substantial bead of adhesive on the top left and right side of the tub where the product will be seated. Adhesive on the top of the tub reinforces the product. It is necessary to caulk around the entire perimeter of the clean cut product. Begin by using the recommended adhesive along the sides of the product. Begin on the left side and complete the process before moving to the right side and bottom. It is recommended that you wear gloves during this step to avoid direct exposure to the adhesive. Run your glove finger along the beads and wipe the excess on a folded paper towel. Try to smooth the beads one time only. Underneath the bottom edges of the clean cut product are a bit more difficult to see and the angle tip should be used in completing this step. Use the small mirror to inspect the bead and to verify that all surfaces have been properly sealed. Spend a few minutes at the end of the job to once again clean up the tub in the bathroom area. Upon completion, place a sign on the clean cut product warning not to use the tub for two days while the adhesive cures. If installing a clean cut convertible, 
Do not remove the center insert and leave in place while the adhesive cures. If installing a clean cut door, do not open the door and keep in a closed position while the adhesive cures. Important reminder, if installing on behalf of someone else, please leave the customer packet that includes warranty registration information with the consumer at the conclusion of the installation. Please instruct the consumer to thoroughly read the care and use instructions prior to first use and to fill out and return the warranty registration card. The clean cut installation is now complete. Clean Cut sincerely thanks you for your interest in the Clean Cut line of bath accessibility products.